if you've ever spent uh, time with video, uh, you always get problems and you end up staying up all night trying to work out how to get the thing working correctly. Well, my problem was uh, I like to do videos and often using a Zoom, I like to put on the uh, soundtrack separately, not using the camera microphone. And I found when I put on the uh, high definition AVCHD uh, clips in my edit software, and then I took the uh, sound from the Zoom, and when I put them together and mix them down to a file, all the time, the audio was going out of sync all the time and it was driving me insane. I was trying every setting possible, every single format to try and get these things working, to keep it all in sync and keep a reasonable high definition picture quality. Well, in the end I've solved the problem and it was quite simple in a way. What I did was, with the camera I got some software with the camera called Pixia and this, with this software you can convert the uh, high definition files, the AVCHD files, uh, to a MPEG file. So there we have Pixia Image Mixer. I've put the file from the camera in there, if you can see that. And now I go to Edit, to File, Export. A computer, file type MPEG2, export. And what I do is take the MPEG file, put that into my edit um, program, and then add the sound file from the from Zoom and mix them down to WMV. So now I'm in my Magix uh, edit program and I got the file, find where it is, icon of meeting, icon of videos, there's the exported file, put that in there. Everything working nice and fast. There we have it as an MPEG camera microphone. And I found when I put on the uh, high definition AVCHD uh, clips in my uh, recording software. In my so what we do now is put on the um, sound from the zoom and mix it together. So now I take my sound from the zoom, put it in there, line up the waveforms. If you've ever spent uh, time with video, uh, you always get problems and you end up staying up all night trying Mute to the work camera out sound. To get the thing working correctly. Well, my problem was uh, I like to do videos and often using a zoom, I like to put on the. Uh... So, what we do now is we decide what we want to keep, what we want to uh, throw away. So, we'll take it from the beginning. for 25 if you've ever persevere and you get it right so we'll cut it there now we've got 3 minutes 5 seconds there and the uh, original file was 356 megabytes. That was the, uh, the original file from the camera. And we changed that to a... We changed that to an MPEG. 
and that was this one and that file is 259 megabytes so now we've got this 259 megabytes plus the sound now we'll mix this down to a WMV file film export Windows Media Export 1280 by 720 16925 and our end file should be around 28 megabytes in sync 3 put it in sync test 3 now we mix that down to a Windows Media file and that's going to take 3 minutes and 25 seconds There we're coming up to the end of the uh, rendering of the MPEG and soundtrack file. If you've ever spent uh, time with video, uh, you always get problems and you end up staying up all night trying to work out how to get the thing working correctly. Now we have the finished well, video. My problem was, uh, I like to do videos and often using the zoom, I like to put on the uh, Videos. then I can mix that down with sound as you see we've got perfect sync if I've quality is okay and that doesn't take long to load up to YouTube and the size of the file is 20 megabytes so that's 20 megabytes for three minutes of high definition with uh, sound from a separate sound source and then I get three minutes of high definition, good quality, in sync video for 25 megabytes. And that doesn't take long to load up to YouTube. There we go. Persevere and you get it right.